Welcome morning gentlefolk and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as uh, as I said before previously the Kingdom of Wessex but now uh, we are Countess in Sussex, Winchester and Wiltshire. So let's kick it off. No, three is good. Barrett of Surrey has founded the Lower Crown Authority in Scotland faction. Okay, um... Kettle of Man has joined the Lower Crown Authority in Scotland. Okay. Now, I thought it was already uh, quite low. Because um, I've been declaring war left, right and centre. But, uh, hey-ho. But anyway, um, total loss, yes, we need to change those laws as discussed previously, and uh, a vassal, res yes, was raised too long, that's okay. I've never had any problem making friends, so get someone like me, I can twist and turn the truth until it fits. It's a great skill, isn't it, Wolf? Wolf has something to say about Sigrid's way of getting friends. Okay. People are such gullible fools, I've gained a deceitful trait, okay. <laughs> Gregarious. That's okay. Great. Okay. Kettle of Man has become the new leader of the Lower Crown Authority faction in Scotland. Okay. Cynical, gluttonous, and deceitful. So, we climb on Somerset. Anyway, vassals. I have more vassals now. And I assume they all hate me. Swaffed, you've hated me for a long time. Oh, Bishop of. Mayor of Saren. Whoa, come on, thank you. Go back into the orders I want you to. Uh, Prince Constantine of Scotland accepting his wise peace officer. Peace offer. Flan McConnell has been released from King Six. Okay. Dorset, Somerset, Oxford. So I have a claim on Oxford, you know, I have to... Oh, I can declare war on Oxford. <laughs> High Chief Dis ba Balfield of Huis. High Chief Dis of Huis, head to the Barony of, Barony of Buckingham. She has no allies. Well, she's the Count of Oxford and the Yaldum of Wees. The Yaldum of Wees, right, which is Grand City of Gloucester and the Count. Oh, hang on. County of Oxford, County of Wiltshire. <laughs> Grand City of Gloucester. So, should be able to raise troops in Gloucester as well. Yes. I don't need to fabricate claims. In Oxford anymore. I can't get a better steward. Better spy master. No. Mm, tempting. has no allies. Retinues. We haven't looked at our retinues. So let's... Retinues. Retinues are set to reinforce at maximum speed. This means they will pay full reinforced cost. 5% of retinue reinforced per month. Set retinues to reinforce at half speed. Retinues not to reinforce. 72 gold. Okay, so what's this? Create a shock retinue. This will start out almost empty. It reinforce up to the specific specified size. Heavy infantry 400, archers of 100. Okay. Create a defense retinue. This will start out almost empty. Right, so pikemen are 300 and archers are 200. Create a cavalry retinue. 
Can I not? Uh, create a skirmish retinue. Create a hooskull. Hmm. Current retinue cap. Hundred and nine. Okay. You cannot create this retinue. Your maximum retinue cap has been reached. Current retinue cap. So. Um. Okay, okay. So I can't create retinues yet. Do I have to reach a certain technological level? I don't know. So when my uh, people are not so upset about the levies being raised, I shall have a look. Blimey, all is quiet. <laughs> No pop, no messages. I've kicked stuff, haven't I? Yes. I mean, I would like to build buildings as well. Castle. Well, if I can't build retinues, uh, nothing to build there. Okay, castle fortifications in Wiltshire. It is. King Sigrig of the Wise has declared Scottish Moray de jour war over Moray on Prince Hugh of Scotland. Okay. Well, you'll get a lot of troops out of me, I don't think. Well, that would be good because she cannot raise her realm levies because they all have them all I would assume so how do I know how many troops these places will raise hmm oh this is interesting I can now raise over a thousand troops okay we'll let them build up for a bit uh, the, the dragon bows of long ships have been sighted off the coast of Gloucester well sorry Gloucester actually <laughs> now might be the time to declare war while there's enemy troops and he's oh, Gloucester's occupied mmm Hmm. Quick save. Quick save. Army of... Okay. I'm going to claim Oxford. And I'm going to raise all of my troops. Join together. Right, Bjorn, you can you can lead and uh Ethelbert, you can have the flank and uh, didn't we offer offer the flank last time, but no, Wolf can Wolf can keep going. Of 
Come on. Come on. Well done. Victory. Eastmunders captured in battle and is now more prisoner. Perfect. Ethelwood of Gilsland was captured in battle and is now more prisoner also. Excellent. I would like to beat them down though a bit more. Where's she going? We arrive in Wiltshire. Okay. Salisbury, excellent. Okay, so I'm already at 90% of the peace and force demands. No, not yet. Okay. Cast fortifications have been built in Wilton. Excellent. Right, these prisoners. Can I ransom you off? Nope. Eastmund. No. Okay. <coughs> Fair enough. <coughs> <laughs> well, we are sieging with just 60 more men than the garrison. <laughs> At age 41, met Ethelbert of Salem died a maimed cripple. Bless him. <clears throat> I can raise some more troops. Oops. My bad, sorry. Prince of Scotland accepted King Sidric the Wise's peace offer. Okay. Murdoch McAlpine has been released from King Sidric the Wise's dungeon. Murdoch has been released. And has been imprisoned. And released. And... <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, we are sieging Oxford. Well, we nearly have the money for some mercenaries, but uh, I don't think we need them just yet. I wonder she's, she's become of age. High Chief Dis Bullfield. Whoa, 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 hang on. At age 33, both fled died of camp fever. That's got nothing to know. Uh, I shall let him rot for now. Judy Hales has contracted typhus. Both lead has contracted typhus. It has become Yarl of East Anglia. A holding of Wiltshire is under siege. It's not, is it? Chief Moray. Okay, they're all just stuff. Okay, this is getting close, come on. As a successful siege, your men drag Burwin out of her hiding hole. Off to the dungeons with her. Excellent, so that means she'll give in immediately. Peace enforced demand, send. 
The Winchesterian climb on Oxford has ended. The Countess Secret of Winchester won. Excellent. Okay, so now my Demesne is too big, so I'm going to have to give one away. Right, Secret of Wessex become Countess of Oxford. Right, I have a lot of prisoners. Right, let me sort this out first before I really... I am going to release people. Uh, let me stand my army down. Right, so uh, who wants Oxford? Who would like Oxford? Who are you? Hmm. Sir Gerrick of Wies. I am so disliked. <laughs> I'll just... I could just give it to somebody in court. Mayor of Oxford. Bishop of Salisbury. Pagan of Buckingham. Bishop of Chichester. Mayor of Oxford. I mean, you, you, you're just the Mayor of Oxford. You could have it. Um, it could be your lucky day, sir. There we go. And he really likes me. Give it a couple of days. Right. Prisoners. Right. If I just, well hang on, um, not her, somebody who's irrelevant like you sir, if I just release you, okay, just go, <laughs> you, you're not anybody, just release you, now you're a different matter, um, you don't have any totals, you don't have any claims. Um... I forget... Oh, I'm just gonna... no. Just... Just go. So, another successful campaign. I should have given it to one of my family members, shouldn't I? That's what I should have done. Doi. Fifteen. I'm going to have to start thinking about getting married. Hmm. I have to start thinking about getting married, yes. Why didn't I give it to my sister or something? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably end up fighting him again. Right. Oh, auto save. Right at the right moment. Vladimir, King of Bulgaria. King of... Well, there's a lot of potential... Um, people out there. Um, I would like a matrilineal marriage to be fair. Prince of Murat is six. Courtier in Venice. Chancellor of Georgia. Prince of Georgia. Prince of Great Moravia. Courtier. Mm. 
You're not heir to anything. How did you hit a courtier in Venice? He would accept a matrilineal marriage, would he? Whoa, we'd lose a lot of prestige over that one. Wow. Hmm. Lineal David, Chancellor of Georgia. He's a homosexual, okay. Matus, Prince of Great Moravia. Greedy, proud. Anybody with. Nikolos. Is a court. Who is that? A Duke Bagrat of. Uh, Constantine Corsarin. There's a lot of Orthodox people out there. Domnald. Da bail. <clears throat> and that would an alliance with Svat Svato Pluck the Wise. Matrilina will get stuff out of that. <clears throat> Prince Willem of Great Moravia. <clears throat> yeah, he is a Catholic, yes. He is all of all of thirteen. <laughs> mm, don't know. Okay, let us have a ponder on this, and uh, I think we'll decide that in our next episode. Uh, he has, has declared Scottish conquest of Devon. Oh. Whoa! You <coughs> get the wise off to join. Linsterian Holy War for Munster. Such as was declared Scottish Conquest of Devon. <clears throat> okay. Well, there's an interesting place to end this uh, this episode. So, uh, yes, looking forward to the next episode. So, uh, with that, I thank you for watching. You all take care of yourselves, and I shall bid you farewell and goodbye. <coughs> <coughs>